Hello summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to do top 18 science characters in Marvel Contest of Champions and before we start I must say that uh, there are just 27 playable science characters in this game so uh, in this top 18 list like I'm just leaving out 9 science characters in total and those include uh, the likes of Yellow Jacket, Miles Morales and OG Spider-Man and uh, like OG Hulk, uh, Sentry and Electro only made the list because they are better than those nine characters but otherwise i don't think it's a wise decision to use your resources on them uh, and the sentry is only here there if considering like you have the champion synergy as well uh, but now starting with number one we have quake and quake is arguably the best character in the game in like in the entire game she can counter 96 98 percent of the game uh, every fight every nodes uh, almost like every uh, big content like act 5, act 6, uh, labyrinth, uh, even abyss uh, also like alliance war she's the best defender uh, the best alliance war attacker right now uh, so she definitely deserves the number one spot and then number two number three and number four are kind of interchangeable depending on the situation in my opinion and i uh, also want to say that i have captain america void human torch thing and Shri hulk at rank 5 i think is ranked 2 6 star but it's basically the same thing so uh, i have ranked them according to how much i use them uh, and i just think that I, uh, like i've used captain america infinity war more like he's more versatile in my opinion especially like if you have him at high signature level he can do basically all the things that Void can do, uh, almost all the things that Void can do, and uh, extra stuff as well. Like he, his damage output is more in most situations, uh, and also like he has that perfect block, and uh, you know the block proficiency is really helpful in Act Six and stuff. Plus, uh, like uh, he can put armor breaks on the opponent. He can uh, shrug off debuffs and stuff uh, with skill champions on your team. So he's just overall really powerful and uh, that is why he's at number two and then at number three we have void and void is a uh, like really good character uh, like you, he's really easy to play as well you just mostly have to use sp once with him he can completely shut down and reverse regeneration power gain stop evade at uh, completely also like uh, he's really tanky he has a lot of health i recently made a guide on him by the way uh, so make sure you check that out uh, he's really good for a lot of fights in act 6 and uh, then at number 4 we have human torch human torch uh, against mystics is arguably better than any character on this list and that is because of the sheer damage or da the sheer damage he brings like i soloed uh, rol uh, juggernaut with autoplay on and you can do that with you know, zero hits as well so he's just really crazy against mystic champions and also champions uh, with energy attacks and stuff uh, and uh, like he can reverse regeneration he has a ton of damage output he's a really good character for abyss of legends as well uh, and uh, like that is why he's at number four and then at number five we have thing and with the synergies uh, thing is probably the highest dps champion in this entire game uh, and probably the only character who can even compare uh, who you can even compare with him uh, with synergies again is uh, aegon fully built up uh, because he deals like massive damage uh, when you can build uh, when you can uh, you have him with synergies like if you can get 10 11 furies you are doing 30,000 uh, medium attacks and insane sp2s Plus he has a ton of utility, immunities, uh, stagger on SP2 and if he's awakened, his awakened ability is really strong. That protection is really powerful on offense as well. It can even eat recoil damage. Uh, it makes him really good for that 6.2 champion fight as well. Uh, and then moving on we have She-Hulk who uh, is another great counter to that 6.2 champion fight which is changing by the way. Uh, which is I think a really solid change. Uh, but anyways uh, coming to She-Hulk. She has slow on heavy attacks which is really good for uh, countering unstoppable and also evade. Uh, she has a lot of damage potential like if you build a furies uh, with her uh, then like she, her damage can get uh, like really high uh, like star lord with 400 combo high uh, 
and uh, she's really solid option for labyrinth of legends first clear like if you don't have an aegon uh, she's kind of stressful to play in longer fights uh, because of like keeping furies uh, in order to do that you have to base specials but she also has taunt mechanic which is still uh, unique like only very few characters have taunt in this game uh, so that is really solid as well on this p2 she has petrify on this p3 like you can chain stun she's pr probably the best and like in my opinion she's the best counter to the 6.4.5 i want to say adaptoid uh, boss uh, and uh, overall just really solid character also has poison immunity uh, and then we have red guardian who is a like relatively newer character we just got him last month i don't have him i haven't played around with him just seen some gameplay videos and i think he uh, deserves to be where he is he has some unique abilities in this game uh, which makes him really good for maybe like flow node uh, and stuff uh, he has de really good damage output some decent synergies especially with abomination uh, and then moving on we have red hulk uh, who is an excel champion so it's really good for waiting too same thing with thing i forgot to mention uh, he's also like poison immune uh, and He's kind of like after a mini human torch because he's really solid for mystic uh, mashups uh, because it's really easy to build up heat charges against mystics. Also, uh, energy champions, uh, and uh, he has a lot of energy damage himself. Like he's probably he is the best uh, counter to a man thing bosses in Alliance for, uh, which is a kind of a common boss. Uh, just like he's man thing is not a tough defender on its own but because he has so much health he uh, kind of makes you time out really easily uh, so he is really good for that fight and a lot of fights in general uh, overall I really like him you can even get a 5% regeneration of sp2 so a little bit sustainability as well which is really nice uh, then we have invisible woman who is I think really underrated uh, because of the other two fantastic four characters uh, she has a lot of damage but she does need a lot of skill to play her you can't even like in order to maximize the damage you can't even block with her so intercept uh, should be really good uh, i think like the ai is super aggressive when you're using her that might just be me uh, but overall like she uh, is really safe character really fun character to play in my opinion and uh, uh, like she has uh, like uh, if you get hit with her while intercepting she can save you uh, well if you're considering like you did, didn't get hit before in the fight she can even miss the attack and stuff so she has a lot going on for her I have a the six star I uh, might rank to her like if I awaken her then I'll definitely rank to her but I really like playing around with her she is really powerful in my opinion and definitely very underrated uh, then we have Mr. Fantastic who has really good synergies with a lot of characters uh, also like uh, he's a really good character himself uh, I don't have him but I've seen some really good gameplay against 6.2 champion bosses it puts a lot of debuffs on the opponent so uh, that works really well with the despair mastery uh, and stuff so he's really good in my opinion uh, especially because of his synergies and pre fight ability uh, then we have Wasp, uh, who is really good for synergies with the uh, Ghost. But even other than that, on her own, she has a lot of damage up. She used to have uh, the strongest attack, base attack in the game for a long time. Uh, and she's kind of a glass cannon character. She doesn't have that much health. She doesn't have uh, a high block efficiency, which is kind of the only thing that is holding her back. But she can regenerate, uh, like reverse regeneration as well and really uh, she can use heavy attacks from her basic combo which was unique to her before doom came along so she's really good for life cycle nodes as well so uh, and after that moving along uh, we have uh, luke cage uh, with like a lot of debuffs you can have a lot of damage output with him with the things energy he's just really good also is bleed immune and whenever you can have indestructible which always helps in spider when she is really good for evading special attacks if you're new to the game she has a lot of damage output when you build up your charges and then use your sp3 a lot of energy damage as well uh, then we have gladiator hulk who is really good for any fight which has degeneration and uh, you know that kind of unavoidable damage uh, then we have Modok who is a really solid defender but even on attack 
uh, on heavy he has really decently strong incinerates uh, and auto block is kind of also helpful uh, while you are playing with him he's pretty decent damage output wise he can uh, like cheese uh, aggression regeneration matchups uh, because of his sp1 then we have og hulk excel champion poison immune decent amount of damage stun lock potential so that is why he's there then sentry with champion synergy decent amount of damage perfect block uh, for a short while uh, unblockable specials uh, if you use them right then electro shock immune great for emp mod node a uh, lot of damage if you have shock on yourself but that's not uh, like happening that much in the game uh, so that is why he's number 18 uh, and he's kind of a rare character the five star might be worth of rank fouring but definitely not rank fiber in my opinion so that's pretty much it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day subscribe for the more uh, for the, to the channel for more content and stay safe